On February 13, 2015, the New Season Christian Center hosted an open mic featuring a variety of poets and musicians in order to raise money for after-school programs and ESL classes. Uh, we do two main services right now. Uh, we provide ESL classes to adults. Um, uh, and the ESL has been going great. Uh, enrollment is always, every semester, between 50 and 60 students. Um, we've had two very successful semesters of ESL, and, and they have graduations, and um, the students are learning English. Um, um, immigrants, people who are really new to this country uh, from all different places, um, a lot of the Dominican Republic and South America, Central America. Um, so we do that for adults. And then for children, we do an after-school program, Monday through Friday. Um, we do school pickup at three of the neighborhood schools here um, near Southern Boulevard and Longwood Avenue. Um, we pick up three different schools. We do homework help, tutoring. Um, they get one-on-one -on -one tutoring. And then um, we do enrichment classes for the kids, so music, art, physical education, and cooking. So that's what we do right now. The Peace Poets were the main act, featuring Luke Nephew, Frank Antonio Lopez, Emmanuel Candelario, Franz Jerome, and Abraham Velasquez, all who grew up in the Bronx and fight social injustice with their spoken verse. They describe themselves as a collective of artists that celebrate, examine, and advocate for life through music and poetry. Art for us is the entry point into our lens of how we view the world. Uh, as young writers, we really cultivated a space and were um, cultivated in a space um, of community, of positivity, one that respected the knowledge that were passed down by <clears throat> our elders, mm -hmm. and it was a space called the Brother, His Sister Soul. Is the Bronx in the house? Yeah. Is hip hop in the house? Yeah. This is dedicated to y'all, to hip hop, and all our money. Up rock and break, when crack rocks lace the outside of my place. Outside of my place, too much pop, pop, capicu, cervezas. Mm -hmm. and pop rock, munched up by kids who bought coke and popped rocks. Even in dead winter, the block was always summer hot. And growing up, everybody lived some version of this. First deal I witnessed was at four. First the night started at 7.30 p.m. and was filled with all sorts of performances, including videos highlighting South Bronx's tight-knit community. The first act was made to comprise of the center's local poets and musicians, including Linson Fuentes, who sang songs about lost love and enlightenment, and Melissa Morales, who performed poems about family ties. And I hear a lot of people talking about how their kids are their motivation, which is good. But you have to be your children's inspiration. We were brought here to be their leaders and set examples and open doors for them. But what the borough lacks in money, it overflows with solidarity, commitment to art, commitment to family, and above all else, commitment to life and social justice. In spite of everything that might be wrong, the Bronx has given me the, the idea that the sun will always rise tomorrow. There will always be an opportunity to do more, to do better, to look for peace and create peace where peace doesn't exist, and to find love in spite of all that is wrong in the world. If the Bronx can do it. Everywhere can do it. Because folks did it before the Bronx, and they'll do it after. I say peace to the poets who, who propagate, propagate peace. Who have to protect life, because war is a beast, and the war in the streets have got the poor in a leash. Right now, there are people dying to eat. But like Zapata, we don't live on our knees. We die on our feet. We riot the streets. We don't sit down and complain. We are people of action. Everything we do is fighting for change. We represent peace because our soul spiritual. We represent peace because it's so critical. You ain't no peace could be this lyrical. I say peace to the be the change movement. The movers in the front and the people who ain't moved yet. Don't forget change is pursuing. Don't forget chains take time to loosen. Don't forget Malcolm X was a truant. I say peace because I've lost so many to violence. And I speak peace because I've lost many more to silence.